Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Alright, so what I've done here is I've added 240 grams of margarine or butter and then a half a cup of sugar. I'm going to mix it all together in my little mixer. You can always do this by hand. You don't need a mixer. The mixer just speeds up the process and I find that the Butter and sugar mixture is more creamy. Alright, so after the mixture is incorporated well, I'm going to take it out into a separate bowl and then we're going to add six ripe bananas. I like mixing the bananas in like this because breaking them up this way really speeds up the process instead of doing it with a fork like we did when I was growing up. All right, very quick. Right, next, I will add back in the sugar and butter mixture and then we're going to mix it again. Give it a good stir that everything is incorporated well. Next I added four eggs. It is suggested you add them one at a time for better incorporation. Next up I've added four cups of all-purpose flour. I think Bread flour would also work for this recipe as it is quite a robust flour. After adding that, you just um, make sure you mix it well with all the wet ingredients. You'll see your batter now has a smoother consistency. And this is when you add the water. So it's 130 milliliters of water and you dissolve two teaspoons of baking soda into the water. Mix it well that it will dissolve. Sorry, it is a little bit out of frame here as I struggled with holding the camera in one hand and mixing with the other. I will find a solution for this in my other videos. All right, so I'm just adding a bit more water. Here I just, I used half a cup, so it's 100, 125 milliliters of water. You add it to your mixture and then you will thoroughly incorporate that. So here I have added three teaspoons of baking powder. I added them while the mixer was on. You can of course just stop the mixer so that nothing gets in the way. And remember to have your baking powder level in your teaspoon. If there's too much, it might rise a lot. We're adding a pinch of salt. This is about quarter teaspoon of salt and be sure to preheat your oven to 180 degrees celsius i showed the grease baking tins a bit later but i actually did it before 
so we're adding our liquid into the greased baking tin. Try to ensure that there's equal amounts of batter in each tin, then your loaves will be the same size, which is always nice. Into the oven they go for 45 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius or 360 degrees Fahrenheit. This is how they looked about halfway into the process, nice and risen. And this is the end result. This was seriously delicious. Thanks for watching.